Good morning and welcome to the 2019 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. That's right, the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. That's what we're doing today here at beautiful Epcot. Now I know you've probably seen all the videos from... I know you've probably already seen all the videos showing all the new things for the Food and Wine Festival, but you know, that's our turn. So we're going to show you the foods that we picked today. We're also going to tell you about the prices, how much we're spending, how much maybe you need to plan to spend. Another thing you may notice that's different about today, we're going to be shooting in 60 frames per second. I don't usually, I'm going to try 60. Let me know if it, you can see a difference. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on inside. Oh, look what we've got here. There's Pluto taking some nice pictures in front of that retro Epcot picture as we go underneath this retro part of Epcot here, Spaceship Earth. One of our first things that we're going to do actually is we're going to go over to Soren. We're going to soar a little bit. Not, we're not doing Soren first. Never mind. Before we get too far, we're going to look at this fountain one last time. I think this is, this just might be it. This might be the final fountain view for us in real life. Under these, under these little shades here, the shade sails. But man, look at this. This is it. This is the last time we'll see that water coming out of that fountain like that. And another thing, old club pool just on the other side of it. This view right here is going to change very, very soon. We will remember you with all your little shooting little things there and your little spouts up top and your wonderful mist cools us off in that Florida sun. We're in the breezeway by Mouse Gears here, but just over there, that's where you're going to get your pass holder magnets. In the breezeway by the old electric umbrella and Mouse Gear. I think we're actually going to go to Test Track first because it's a short wait. So we're going to take advantage of that. here if you do a gift card which we suggest when doing uh, food and wine get a gift card helps you stay in budget but if you're a pass holder and you get at least a hundred dollar gift card you'll get ten dollars added to it for free bonus monies that's like an extra dish as we stepped over into the land here for a little bit of chocolate experience from the bean to the bar we're going in oh, I haven't been in this room in a while this is pretty neat look at this carpet on the walls definitely have not seen this type stuff in, in quite a while. But looky here, here's how we get from the bean to the bar. That's the cacao bean shell, right? And inside you got these nibs, so they call them. Got these bags of nibs. You mix it up, you crunch all that stuff up, you do some cooking type things, and then bada bing, chocolate. Maybe JR needs to go read this right here. This is how to taste chocolate. Got your tasting tips. Use all of your senses to truly savor the experience. Your eyes, your nose, your ears. You gotta listen to the chocolate. Touch, eat, and taste, or be happy and eat or something. Well, anyways, one kind at a time. Don't mix it up so that way you know what you're actually having. Focus on the quality. Hey guys, we're gonna get on the land, living with the land, the old boat ride. We haven't done this one in a while, so I'm kinda excited. It's, it's pretty fun. Jessica usually doesn't like it, but I think it's cool. It's cool to see all the plants and stuff and go through the, go through the greenhouse. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go look at some plants. And there's some cabbage. Can't miss the cabbage. Flavors from fire. Delicious. All right, guys. Flavors from fire. That was a pretty decent little start to the day. We got us a little steakhouse blended burger. That's five dollars twenty-five cent. We were gonna get the smoked corned beef. We changed our mind. Went over to the charred chimichurri skirt steak and said, instead, that's another seven bucks. We also got us a water. Three dollars and fifty cents. So far today, what is that? Twelve. 
and a quarter, 1575, right, 1575. That was for three people, four people technically, we shared it all. We're over in the next eats area, stopped over the coastal eats. I think we're gonna get that big shrimp and scallop scampi dip. Why is that hard to say? It's not really that hard to say. Yeah, I think we're also gonna try the fish at Bass Tostada. We got our food. These are six dollars each. So we'll do. So we spent twelve bucks over here at Coastal Eats. I don't know what the running tally is, but we'll figure it out. All right. So we just ate that uh, that fishy stuff. That was pretty good. The scallop thing. That's always pretty good. The 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 bass. It's kind of basic. Jr. He didn't eat any of it. He's not really a seafood type of guy. But what what do you think's next? That chocolate. Studio. Chocolate studio. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's more our speed. We're gonna go see some chocolate. Not even just see it. We're gonna see it, smell it, taste it, touch it, listen to it. We learned about that. Oh, over from the old chocolate studio. We just spent five dollars and twenty-five cents on this nitro ice cream stuff, and four twenty-five on this dark chocolate raspberry tart. So that's like about ten bucks there. And then also over here from the cheese studio, we picked up a braised beef, what is this? Stroganoff. stroganoff. Raised beef stroganoff. That thing looks pretty all right, right there. Look at that. Oh man, it looks really tender. Oh yeah, he approves. Look at that. He approves of this dish. Almost forgot. We'll add this up to the tally for today. This is $5.50. Our running tally is ding, this much. Oh, those were pretty good. I think we're gonna hit up Hawaii next. Oh, what the heck? What is this? But anyways, we need some spam hash and Kahlua pork spl sliders. And we had to come almost all the way to Canada to find us a place to eat the spam hash. Got that tuna tataki. Got that Kahlua pork slider. The holy trinity. All right, so tallying up all the food here on this one. Yeah, $5.25 for that pork slider. $4.25 for the spam hash and $5.25 again for the tuna. Our grand total, $14.75 for all of these delicious samplings. Ah, while we're in Canada, we're gonna go check out this apple seed orchard. Oh, we're going inside. This is the old circle vision here they used to do for 360 Canada. And now, pours and plates. It smells like apples in here, like right away. Oh yeah. Here's our things we got. Jessica got a uh, cider flight. I got this apple trap, or trap apple. Something like that. Ooh, there's a scary face in there. Spooky. And then JR got a frozen apple pie. Ooh, this, the flight was $9.75. Yeah, uh, JR's frozen apple pie, non-alcoholic, is $4. And my uh, my beer was only $4.50. $18.25 here. Very good. Not bad. And the AC is pretty nice in here, too. And they got this cool thing up top, so that's that's fun to look at. Yeah, over here in the water, look right there. Look right inside right there. He's kind of sideways right there, but yeah, right there. Hidden Mickey. Did you guys know about that? Now you do. Not this time, France. We're heading to Brazil. I'm gonna get a little something from Brazil here. I don't know what, maybe some crispy pork belly. That sounds pretty good. Got a little bit of that crispy pork belly. Pork belly was $6. JR got some of that cheesy bread. That was $4.50. Not too bad here at Brazil. It didn't cost us a Brazilian dollars. Oh, here we go. Where's our sake we got? This is like a sake cocktail. Some sort of sake cocktail. It's pretty good, the color's cool. And also I picked up a chicken teriyaki bun, which uh, I haven't had yet. Nobody else wanted any, but all of a sudden, everybody wanted some, so. You know, I, I did choose wisely. How much did all this cost? Uh, next up, we got this lobster roll here. Thing's pretty good. This is a classic. The thing's always here. It's always very popular over here at the American Pavilion. This thing was $8.50. $8.25. I stand corrected. And while we are here in America, I think we're gonna do American Adventure Show because it's it's really hot out here. Like there's hardly a cloud in the sky. Okay, like maybe one, but it's really hot. So I think we're gonna take a break inside.
we've stopped at you right by old Germany. Somebody's making the seafood salad in there. There it is. Well, that's about a half, that's about a half dollar. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you know how much this was? Six dollars. Six dollars. That doesn't seem like it's that bad. It's packed pretty good in there. This seafood salad is actually really good. It's really refreshing. It's nice and cool. It's got like a, a vinegary thing, so it like has a bite. Yeah, on a hot day like this, super good. So highly recommend this one, especially if it's a hot day. Oh yeah, snakefish bird thing captured close up even and gone. We'll see you around, pal. We know you're always in there. All right, guys, this pumpkin liqueur, this Mozart pumpkin liqueur in Germany is actually delicious. But you see this little size? It's in the wine keller there. $11.50 for that. I mean, they do fill it up like all the way to the top and it is really delicious and, and layered. I'd say it's a, it's a, it's, yeah, it's not a good deal, but it's delicious. So I'll give it that. Germany, we're not done with you yet. We're gonna get a bratwurst and an apple strudel. All right, so we got a bratwurst, bottle of water, and a strudel. How many dollars was this? Oh, this was $5.75, $4. So how much did we spend here? $13.25. Here's what we're up to. Ding! Oh man, China. China over there. Got these spare ribs and this chicken, or Black chicken. Pepper. <laughs> Black pepper shrimp. All right, so one was $6.95, one was $6.75. So we're up to this amount. Bing. Man, China was really good, but now it's time for Norway. We're here in the Alps. Yeah, we're right by the restrooms. Done did that. Now it's time for a little bit of this stuff right here. We're gonna do the raclette and the frangipane tart. It's gonna be yummy. All right, so $4.50 here. This one was $5 for this plate. $9 and change, eh, about 10 bucks here. But anyways. I'm down over here to Mexico, one of our favorite places. We're actually getting a few things here. We're gonna get that taco de puerco, Mexican sangria, and the smoky margarita. So we spent some dollars. How much did we spend? This stop cost us $27.25. There's a quick view of this smoky margarita. There's a little bit of that sangria. And here's that puer puerto puerco de taco thing. Is it good? Pretty good looking. Anyways. There's that stop, Mexico. All right, over here at Shimmering Sips, JR got this ice cream that he's gonna dig into, because if he doesn't, it's gonna be melted pretty soon. Look at that backdrop, though. Check that out. A little bit of that Spaceship Earth. Oh, look at the reflection. It's like the show, Reflections of Spaceship Earth. This here was $5.25. So, we're up to this much amount. And here's just a little, just a little Disney duck. Also looking, just looking, seeing what we're doing. I'm not gonna feed you, cause uh, you know we're not supposed to. It's probably not good for you. Anything that we've got. And it's cool to look at you really close like this. See what you're all about. Yeah. See what you're all about. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right. Yeah, but anyways, see you around. All right, guys, and as we close out the uh, the day here at Epcot, that was a food and wine festival. A little bit of the money talk about how much you spend on an average day at food and wine festival. This much right here. Hey, it's not so bad. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate you coming along, and we'll see you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.